Welcome back. Sport North fishing forecast for President's Day weekend. Most of us have a long weekend and we're getting towards the end of the walleye season. So I expect a lot of fish houses head north uh, in northern Minnesota. I'm going to give you a fishing forecast for the weekend uh, with the up and down bar uh, barometric pressure and then some of the moon periods that we're looking at. Uh, looks like northern Minnesota is your best bet to get those wheelhouses out. I know places like Mille Lacs are shutting down some accesses, so you can still get on good ice, but you're going to have to go north. So hopefully you can get up there, put some fish in the bucket, and have a good time. For Friday, we have uh, pressure topping out overnight, and it's going to fall throughout the day. So fishing should improve gradually throughout the day. Uh, that high pressure um, peaking out like that tends to make fish uh, more often look at your bait rather than bite your bait. Uh, so fishing should improve throughout the day. Uh, we do have a major moon period the first two hours of sunlight and the last two hours of sunlight. So that definitely helps out a little bit there. And there is a minor moon period which are the most intense at 10 o'clock. Uh, it's going to be windy, 10 to 20 mile hour winds out of the northwest northwest. Um, if you're in a hard hard shell shack that's going to be the most comfortable and, and uh, best bet for staying on the ice for a long time. But again, fishing will gradually get better throughout the day on Friday uh, with that pressure starting to fall back into that normal range. Saturday is my favorite day to be out, especially Saturday morning. We have a major moon period that ties in with sunrise and the pressure is going to be falling to below average. When that happens, fish are more comfortable, they're more active, they are more likely to feed. So I really like Saturday morning. You are going to have to deal with the wind again. We're talking 10 to 20 out of the northwest, northwest due to that pressure falling. Uh, once we get to the evening, it's going to bottom out a little bit. So that sometimes ha makes a little lull in fishing action. But I expect fish to bite overnight with that pressure still being low. Uh, so Saturday, again, looks great. There is a minor moon period Saturday morning at 1030. So if you're on like stained water, like uh, Lake of the Woods or Red Lake, you may see a, a peak in activity from 1030 to 1130 in the morning. So once again, Saturday, great day to be on the water. Sunday fishing continues to look pretty good. The pressure is going to stay low. It's going to rise a little bit in the morning and then fall a little bit in the evening. Uh, morning bite looks good. There's a major moon period that ties in with sunrise. And there is a minor moon period from 11 to noon. So again, that could be a good time to catch some fish there. Uh, the winds are only going to be a 5 to 10. So that'll give you a chance to get out, do some hole hopping, uh, cover some more ground, get that lure in front of more fish's eyes. So Sunday looks like a good day as well, uh, especially with most of us having Monday off. It's nice to have that whole day to fish up north. For President's Day Monday, the pressure is going to continue to rise and it's going to get above that uh, average mark. So that's going to make fishing a little tougher, a little slower. The nice thing is the wind's going to be out of the south from 5 to 10. So you're going to be able to get on top of more fish and move around. But overall, as far as your catch rate, I expect it to be a little bit slower on Sunday, which for a lot of us, that's the day we're packing up to head home anyways. But uh, once again, the best days I feel like are going to be Saturday and Sunday, which is perfect. It lines up on a weekend. doesn't get much better than that. That's it for the forecast this week, but mark it on your calendars. Next weekend is a full moon. Uh, that means we're going to have minor moon periods that line up with sunrise and sunset, and that is the typically the best scenario for that morning bite and late evening bite. So I'll have another forecast next week uh, to cover that with the barometric pressure and uh, other weather, weather aspects as well. So once again, thanks for watching. Mark your calendars, full moon next week, and it's the last weekend that you can be fishing walleyes in most of Minnesota. So uh, have a great weekend, have fun, stay safe, good luck fishing.